So getting into solve number one, I immediately see for a yellow cross, we have some pretty easy insertions here. And there looks like there isn't anything that's phenomenal. For white cross, we could probably do something a little better. So what I would do here is move orange under red and then put red in and then move red into the back and put down blue, three grip here, and then we do a D2 to solve this. The reason I did that was because it brought this pair up on the top left so we could predict it from inspection. And we just do this finger trick to solve the cross. Then we go here and solve this one. And while I'm doing that, you can also notice that these two are in the top layer. So we have them here, take them out, solve them right here, and from here, I would probably solve this pair first because that's what I saw when I was doing this and look ahead. We could solve this one without doing a rotation, but that would leave a slot in the back and that's just kind of risky. So we take this out, pair it, insert it, and then we have this pair which we can insert very easily, just like so. Um, this OLL, very easy. And then we are left with a G perm. So the way you tell apart R perms and G perms, there's a few ways such as this front piece here but I like to look at this piece here and see if it matches the corners next to it. So this one is red and there's an orange and orange corner. So this one is a G perm. So, but this one's orange and there's two orange corners. So this one's an R perm. So basically if these two corners are the same color as this edge, then it is a R perm. And if they're opposite, then it's a G perm. Okay, so once we know that, we just do our G perm. I use kind of weird finger tricks for that. Um, from here, there's a few things we could do when we end like this. We could either push with our right hand like that, or we could just regrip here and overwork. It's honestly whatever. So if you go like this, it's honestly not very different from just going like this. Honestly, I like the thing with the left hand more, but it's just up to you. All right, going into solve two, I immediately notice there is an easy white cross because we have these two already solved relative to each other. And I notice that if I insert this how I want to, where when I do a D prime and then insert this into the front, which will bring this down here, so it can be inserted in one move, then do a D prime to a line, it's not going to affect this pair in the back, so I can solve that right after I'm done. So I'll go like this and go ahead into this pair. And while I'm doing that, I'm looking ahead to this pair. Okay, so then I would rotate here and then insert it like so which leaves this easily visible in the front. And this is actually going to solve into the back. And from here, we could look ahead, but you see the edge that goes with this corner isn't visible, so I'd probably just solve this and recognize the case and do it. Also, that wasn't the most efficient way to solve that, but whatever. So then here we have a dot case. So for this one, I just use the basic algorithm and then a G perm. With this one, I use kind of weird finger tricks but then we end like this, and that would be pretty good. Okay, solve three. So from here, um, there's nothing amazing, but I see that if we insert green down here, it's gonna bring this corner up to the top, and then when we insert orange again, it's gonna put it over here. So we can basically predict it's gonna end up in this position, so we can predict first pair pretty easily, and just solve it like this. And then we have this pair in the front, which is the only one that's visible in the front besides this, but I would notice this more easily just because they're more in a recognizable state. Take them out, and while I'm doing that, of course, you can watch this pair as it gets taken out as well. Insert that into the back, and we have this pair here. And there's a few ways to solve this. To avoid a cube rotation, you could just solve it from here, but that would leave us with a dot case because that doesn't change the way the edges are oriented. So for this, I would actually probably rotate to the back and do something like this, and then insert it with those wide finger tricks. And now we don't have a dot case, and we have a G turn. All right, so for solve four, I immediately noticed there is a joined edge right here, or joined corner. So I would probably try and use that as much as I can. So to use it, we could either build an X cross, which would probably be more difficult, or we could just try and go for keyhole after. So I'd probably just note this, not really do anything with it, but I would solve the cross like this. 
so that gets put in the back, and then go like this, and then just go into F2L, knowing that that piece is there. I get a free pair here, and now this doesn't look like a great situation, but I already know that the corner down here is solved. So what I could do is probably just do keyhole into the back slot, and then just solve this by taking out the corner. Leaves us with a good OLL, which I would finger trick like that, and then another J frame. All right, and so for the fifth and final scramble, let's see what we have. Um, okay, so what I would do here is this is gonna pair up with that piece here, these two pieces, when we insert green. And then when we put, with a D move, we put it in the back, we can insert orange, blue, and red, like so, and the pieces are still paired up. So we're gonna insert those into the back, and we're left with this pair on top, which was easy to look ahead to. And while we're doing that, we look ahead to this pair, which can be solved like this. It's just triple reverse sexy or sexy move, whatever you want to do. And then I like doing reverse because it doesn't have a regrip. It's I like doing a reverse one for that just because it's easier on my right hand because my pinch moves in my right hand aren't great yet. Next we have this, which can easily be solved into the back. This one, I'm not entirely sure whether or not a regrip will be better here. Because if we do this, we have an overwork with our left hand. So maybe a regrip would be faster there. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do more testing. If you know, please let me know in the comments. And next we have... Okay, so for this case, instead of just doing... Um, the algorithm I use is soon f sexy f prime. But instead of just doing that, we are going to finger trick the soon differently. So we go like this. Which puts us in position to execute the other algorithm. And then obviously this is just a Y perm. Yeah, that's it. Hope you learned something new. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.